girl, forget that nigga, he can't do what I do And I like, ooh, and I like, ooh Used to be the end to it, now you my boo Used to say I'd never get my heart, but I give it to you Um, what's good, YouTube, man? I'm back with another banger for y'all today if you new to the channel, I gotta let you know that it's mandatory to sub to Nori, man. Go ahead, drop a sub and a like on this video before the video starts. And uh, let's get straight into this interior finisher with sharp take. First off, start off with power forward, right-handed or left-handed. I like to go right-handed with my big men, and then obviously the number doesn't matter. You want to pick the pie chart that is majority blue. It's not half blue, half green, but it's majority blue with a little bit of green. Then the pie chart you want to pick is not speed like all my other builds. You don't want to pick speed. You want to pick the one that has vertical and speed where you have a 75 vertical. All right. So what you want to do is go ahead and max out close shot, drive and lay up, drive and dunk. And then your standing dunk, you want to take it to 81. You get 17 finishing. Then you want to max out your mid range shot, three point shot, free throw, and then your post fade. You want to slide it up to 77. Yeah, nice. Nah, we're going to change it back to 77 later. Hold on. You don't want to touch none of your playmaking, all right? Then you want to just max out all of this in terms of defense, except for your offensive rebound. You'll see why later. Take one off your. Post fade right here, and then put on your offensive rebound. You know what I'm saying? You keep the badges, but you get more offensive rebound. Badge count should be 17, 17, 1, and 9. Then pick Burley. You're at center, you're an interior finisher. This is a one on one build. This build is the best build for 1v1s. Now, the thing about 6 8 is you are bigger, but you don't get contact dunks off rip. So it's up to you. But me, I'm rocking with the 6'7". Your weight, you want to go just at 226 so you can get that 75 speed. And then wingspan, max out your wingspan. So you get 84 driving dunks. So you get your contact dunks off rip. Then when you hit 96, you have, you have your uh, other contact dunks. And then your jump shot should be cash. You got to get sharp tape. That's the whole point of this build. Y'all gonna see interior finisher with sharp shoot and take. Let's go ahead and slide into the badges real quick. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and slide that up to 99. You see your three point shot, a 71. You can hit with a 71 and 17 shooting badges. You have long arms and you have an 83 vertical. You can get boards and you can get contests, bro. This build is gonna be the greatest on the 1v1 court. So when the, with the finishing badges, y'all seen my last videos. If you need those contact dunks, you need contact finisher, relentless finisher, ancillary finisher. I put on fancy footwork because you're going to be on a 1v1 court and then consistent finisher, obviously for bronze. Now when it comes to your shooting badges, this is the best 1v1 build. So what you need, you don't need catch and shoot on, you don't need none of that. So just follow through with my badges. Then when it comes to your one silver badge I would probably go either tireless shooter or maybe flexible release but me I don't need flex release you know what I'm saying I'll be going dummy I don't need no flex release I shoot all greens then playmaking quick first step obviously you on the 1v1 court jab step and go then your nine defensive you want to go chase on artists for sure because you already know how the 1v1 court get Defense is horrible in this game. Then, of course, you need Intimidator and Rebound Chaser, without a doubt. Box Bronze and then Rim Protector. Rim Protector so you can get those block animations. But, uh, this is the best 1v1 build. An uh, interior finisher with sharpshooting takeover. Uh, that's all for this video, man. It's been your boy, Nori, and, um, I'm out. Don't know why they keep doing me wrong.